Are you interested in putting gold into an IRA? In today's economic environment where there's a lot of uncertainty and we've had quantitative easing program after quantitative easing program, a lot of folks are looking at the, the long term and thinking they need something that might deal with inflation or currency collapse or a global economic crisis. And they're very interested in putting gold and precious metals into an IRA. Let's, let's go over the important things for how to do that. First, we'll examine the rules for a gold in an IRA. When it comes to creating a gold IRA or rolling over a current IRA into gold, there are a number of rules that must be followed. These rules can seem very overwhelming, and you might be afraid of breaking one of these rules when you attempt to purchase gold with your IRA funds. That is why it is very important that you either learn all the rules or you partner with a custodian and company that is willing to help. We're going to show you a link below to companies that do this. There are many of them and, and we'll help you take a look at them and choose the right one for you. Most gold RA companies will simply purchase gold. You ask and make sure it is stored somewhere. But a great IRA gold company will help you follow all the rules and make sure that your investment is profitable and secure. So what are these rules and how will they affect you as you desire to diversify your assets? Let's take a look at the gold types. Believe it or not, the IRS requires that your IRA only hold certain types of gold and it, that it considers to be of high enough standard to be considered an investment. You are allowed to have bullion or gold bars as part of your IRA. However, this gold must come from certain accredi accredited manufacturers such as the LME, the NYMEX, the uh, LBMA. All the bars in your IRA must contain a minimal level purity of 0.995. You are also allowed to have gold coins in your IRA, but these coins can only come from a few select countries and they must meet similar standards as the gold bars. You are not allowed to have collectible coins as part of your IRA, nor are you allowed to have gold that originates from a mint that has not been approved. It's really important that you keep track of what gold you are buying, where it is coming from, otherwise the IRS might review, might view it as a withdrawal rather than it as a transfer or rollover of your IRA. If this happens, then you're subject to income tax on the money, and if you're under 59 and a half, you could be penalized with an additional 10% penalty for early withdrawal. So it's very important that you understand the rules and the, for the gold types. Also, you need to have a gold custodian. If you want to invest in gold with your IRA, then you must find a custodian that is willing to do this. This can be difficult because not only do you want someone that is trustworthy and knowledgeable, but you also want someone that has the ability to store your gold safely. Most gold IRA custodians work with major depository in order to store and protect your gold. If your current IRA custodian is not willing to invest in gold or store the gold on your behalf, then you need to transfer or roll over your IRA funds to a custodian that is willing to help you out. Look at our link below and we show you companies that can help you make this rollover. It typically means that you need to create a self-directed IRA that will invest in whatever you want and your custodian will follow your direction. There are several companies that specialize in gold IRAs and they will be happy to explain the process to you and make sure that you are comfortable putting your money into a, a gold investment. Let's look at the time limits and funding restrictions because those are important as well. If you are planning on rolling over or transferring your IRA, you will need to keep in mind several restrictions that apply to IRAs. The first is that you must complete the rollover within 60 days. If you do not, the IRS will see it as a withdrawal of your funds and tax you accordingly. You will also be prevented from touching money in either IRA accounts, the one you transferred money from and the one you transferred money to, for a full year. So you will need to make sure that you are making the right choice before you start the process. If you are just starting a gold IRA, then you will be subjected to certain funding restrictions. You are only allowed to put $5,000 a year into your IRA. So if you are just starting a gold IRA, you will have to build up the funds gradually each year. The only way that you are allowed to put more than $5,000 into your gold IRA in a single year is through a transfer or a rollover. If you want to find a gold IRA custodian that is right for you, the reviews on the site that we link to below go a long way toward helping you understand the top IRA custodians and who they are and how they work. You can also learn about the fees that are charged and what you can expect from your gold investments. 
it's important to keep in mind that nothing is a surefire investment, so it's important to keep a diverse city of assets so you can be protected from the future. This is very important considering the current economic environment and the continuation of the 2008 financial panic that we are still dealing with. For more information on putting gold into an IRA and setting one up, look at the link below. We provide a review site with the links to the major companies that provide this sort of assistance to you. Give them a look, find a company that is reputable and trustworthy, and you can make a gold IRA investment to suit your needs.